Okay, we're good to go. With this opening sequence of shots, you might think this story is about son Jeff and dad John, who have owned a spray foam company in Kelowna for the past 10 years. Well, this is a story about spray foam, sort of. This story is about spray foam if you think of it in the same way Jeff does, and that is as a medium in art. Jeff says incorporating the spray foam into his pieces gives them a 3D sculptured effect. He likes the texture, and ever since he was six and began the journey towards becoming an artist, he's hoped to find something unique he can add to his work. Perhaps he's found it. Making art and selling art is a lot of fun, but it's very difficult to rely on it month to month. I have a family and kids and stuff, so I need a little more stability. So I worked in the, the phone business with my dad. I have a bit of a plan for how much is going to be elevated out of the painting. And then the foam before it's cut with a knife has a really intricate texture to it. I could leave those sections uh, with that texture already there and then smooth out skin or you know, a soft area or bird's feathers would be sanded bone smooth. The carving's fast because the foam's easy to cut and the painting's fast because there's something fun to paint already. So that it, I, I paint significantly quicker doing these than I do normally because it's already fun. It's already, there's already something happening. Like many artists, Jeff follows themes. Early on in his career, he found himself emulating the works of Robert Bateman. And when he met the renowned Canadian artist, Jeff asked him if that was all right. Bateman said yes, as long as you sign your name. But he also said something else. He also said, if that's what you want to do. So that stuck with me. And I, I realized the reason that he was so great is he was really kind of the first to really do wildlife art at that level. So he was the first to do something different. And so I spent quite a few years leaning away from wildlife as a subject matter because there's so many talented artists that are doing wildlife art. And I wanted to, I want to do something really unique. Jeff has created two standout flat pieces. The red dragon depicts the unnerving proximity so many of us feel in the summer months as forest fires loom. The other, a painting of Terry Fox as a noble knight. His one-man show will take place at the Kelowna Art Gallery in September. I've done a few shows privately that are usually accompanying something else. This is the first show where the show is about the art. I'm not hosting it uh, for somebody else, so that's exciting. More details are available online. From Kelowna for Go Okanagan, I'm Tammy Williams.